I've heard on the grapevine of these five perfect steps for your very own cellar hideaway. Follow along and you can relax, drink and feast with your brothers in no time at all. I'm Jamie, grab yourself a cup of tea and some biscuits, let's get building. One does not simply enter a wine cellar. What you need are some stylish and elegant stairs like these. You can construct them in just a few steps, using the dartboard beams as soon as you've attached one to the wall. The next beam if you line it up just about halfway down from the first. If you want your stairs to be freestanding you will need to use a wall to start with as a guide for your cursor for lining these up. When you want to make a turn for the stairs, if you place down five of the beams then another of the two meter ones will snap nicely at the edge. After you're done with the platform, place yourself down another temporary wall for creating the rest of your stairs. For the wood lattice banisters, if you place down one at the height you desire and how close to the edge of the stairs you'd like. For the next piece, if you toggle until it sinks down into the stairs, you can then aim your cursor at the first one and drag it up to the point that you want. To finish things off and give it a nice bit of extra detailing, I use the item stands at the edge of the stairs. After walking up and down your stairs, you're probably a bit thirsty. Here is an efficient way of storing your big barrels of the good stuff. Using the flooring pieces as shelving and a few of the angled walls, some dragon heads and a wolf head so that your wine can now be blessed by the gods. For testing the wine, why not use the sap extractors? Make sure you don't show these things to the Scottish, they might use them as musical instruments. For storing your exquisite bottles of wine, here's how to craft this elegant wine rack. The easy part to this is the wood lattice dividers and some of the plain stools stacked on top of one another. To give this look of the corked bottles sticking out of the ends, if you line up and attach horizontal item stands with the gaps of the stools, you can then attach stone axes so that the handle is facing out towards you. For some extra detailing and a splash of colour, why not try using banners, some coloured text on the signs, shields or all three. Here's a little trick to make a narrow room look wider than what it is, by adding some contrast in thin lines. You can do this using the wooden lattice. Toggle until it sinks down into the floor, then you can hold down shift, drag it up at your wall. After you've placed down the one, the others will snap into place quite easily. Ceilings can look a total mess using the 2x2 floor tiling, with either the beam detailing not lining up and making it even more awkward if you have an all curve with some curved walls. It takes a bit of time but will give you a much nicer finish with the 1x1 floor tiles, as these pieces are plain on both sides. They're great for covering up a complete and utter mess and having a nice smooth ceiling. Then any additional details you place on top will really make things pop and a nice simple way to add a good feature to your ceiling is by using the iron beams. You can make a very nice contrasting spiral with them. Just place down the one and then all of the others rotate one click each time. And bring your cellar to life by hanging a couple of the iron braziers in the middle. Good wine deserves a good table. And this is how you can craft a custom made dark wood one. If you plonk yourself down a horizontal beam first, this you can then use as a guide to sink your vertical beam down to the correct height that you want. To start with you'll need to use the smaller plainwood beams to create your circle. You can do this by rotating one click with the beams each time. After you're done the dartwood beams you'll be able to snap in place at the cross. They will line up and then cover up the plainwood beams. For the rest of the table using the 2 meter dartwood beam, toggle until one end snaps to the other side. Then you can use your cursor to just drag up so it slightly overlaps the top. For the edging of the table I used the item stands and just rotated slightly each time. And just line them up by eye. Don't try lining them up after you've had too much wine of course. Have yourself a merry old time building, see you soon and take it easy. <laughs>